Hey guys, welcome to part 5 of the optimization series and I took a little break from this one but I thought I'd get back on track and this is going to be looking at shaders and the things that you want to keep in mind when you know, you're optimizing for, the, for your game and you're wanting to understand everything that's going on. So this should be more of a short one but for the most part you've got um, shaders which when you create a new material, let's get, give an example, if I go create and material and I'll just leave this as new material for the sake of this. You'll get the standard shader, which you'll be able to use. There is a whole host of other shaders depending on what you want to use. Say if you're using for mobile, you're going to want to use a mobile shader and it will be slightly more optimized. But uh, Unity do say that over 90% of use cases will be available to use with the standard shader. And there's other shaders on the asset store which might help you out, which do interesting things. But there's just a few things that you need to understand. In previous versions of Unity, you would use um, the legacy shaders, which still exist here, like the bumped specular, and they have slots available for you to put your diffuse normal maps and, and things like that. Now, with these particular legacy um, materials or shaders, when if you didn't add a texture to one of these slots, it'd be wasting resources and it'd still be computing those um, options. But with the introduction of the standard shader that Unity have involved with PBR is that you've got a whole host of slots which you can use to add textures to and saying when you build your game and you're using maybe only three of these slots and you've got all these other ones um, you know left out you might think that oh that might end up using resources but it, it doesn't it just dynamically gets rid of those slots if you're not using them so for the most part when you're using PBR related assets or textures you will um, be using probably four, five main types of materials. You usually have an albedo transparency, which goes in the albedo slot, which is a color map, which is like, almost like an old fashioned, um, how we used to do diffuse, but it has no um, sort of detail or shadowing. You've got ambient occlusion, which is occlusion here, which just darkens off recessed areas or areas that wouldn't um, technically have you know, light and reflectivity. We've got um, a metallic smoothness, which can often be known as metallic roughness if you've done it in other programs, and that'll control how metallic or uh, rough the surface is. And you will often have a normal map, which will highlight areas of um, raised areas or bumpiness. You can control with a height map, and you can have things like an emission map. An emission map will con um, control how uh, much light a particular object gives off. You can control all the tiling here and you can control secondary maps to add extra levels of detail. So if I wanted extra graininess on this object, I could add another map and it will put that over the top. But the things that you've got to just really keep in mind is that no matter how many textures you use, it will dynamically change accordingly to how many you've added. You can use the other shaders available, but for the most case that the standard shader is appropriate for most assets that you're going to use, even if you're using assets that are not PBR. So there were just some quick tips of, you know, quickly explaining what it is, explaining how, um, you know, it's optimized and explaining that you don't always need all the maps available and you can chop and change as needed if some don't, you know, and not that important. You can also remember that if you click on your texture that you might have imported, uh, you can scale down its max size so you can make sure that it wastes less resources if it's not that important. So you just change it down to 512 or something like that and hit apply and it will scale down the textures and you want to just zoom in and have a little look of the quality. And if it looks okay, you know, take it down. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.